how to create quick colour fills in Clip Studio Paint. A fill created using the saturated line tool. Perfect for all kinds of fills and layers. Create a new document or use the edit menu and fill to clear the document. Go to the window menu and make certain the subtool and subtool details panels are available. Go to the toolbar, select the figure tool, go to the saturated line, select the first entry. Apply it with the current colour and settings. In this case black. You just get a stream of black saturated lines. Change the settings via the subtool detail panel. For destination layer, use create a new layer. Increase the brush size, I want a fairly large brush. Go to the Drawing Interval category. Set the gap of line to a low value. Go to Anti-Aliasing and set to the max. Do a quick test run. You can see now you've got these really intense black lines across the screen. The key category is Brush Tip. Click the Material tab. Click on the section below. You can now scroll through all the brushes. Select one of the flowers and click OK. Change the direction of applying if you want. Go to the direction and then go to that little right side box. Click that and then you can select random. The angle of the brush is then randomised. Use that preview box at the top of the panel to see how your settings are changing the line. Go to the stroke category to change the gap. Select the first circle, increase the fixed gap. You can now see the individual flowers. Apply the saturated line with a very small circle to completely fill the document. If you don't use a small circle, you'll get more of the background. Up to you. As the saturated line is created as a layer, you can always remove it if you don't like it. You can also apply it more than once. You can use different origin points for the saturated line. To flatten, go to Layer Menu and Flatten Image. You can also change the brush tip. To change the brush tip, go to the current brush tip and click the arrow at the right. Perhaps select a different flower or use one of your own brushes. Click OK. You can change the other settings. The settings only become available once you apply the layer. The tool does not affect the current layer. Change the gap of line, change the grouping. Experiment. Change the disarray setting for more randomization. Apply the saturated line. Now you can see you've got two different designs of flowers. It could equally be cars, houses, numbers, etc. To flatten, go to a layer menu and flatten image. Or rasterize the layer and then apply filters or export to other applications. Select a different brush via the brush tip. You can quickly create your own brush tips and then register them via the edit menu. Here I'm using a rainbow brush I created in an earlier video. It was created using gradients. You can use it to create some very super colourful designs. All super easy and very quick to do. Hope you found this video of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Clip Studio Paint, so please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Also, please add a comment or two, a like or dislike. Thank you much.